Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another blog tech tips. So guys, for today I'd like to look at an issue where with your camera, the camera is failing. This can happen with any Samsung Galaxy. So if you have any Samsung Galaxy, including the Samsung Galaxy S4, S5, S6, S7, S8, newer older devices, including the J series and so on, it doesn't really matter the note whatever Samsung you have and even other devices as well I'm going to show you how to fix the issue where you're getting warning the camera has failed it can happen with the front camera as well as the rear um, camera on your device um, every year when um, new phones come out you will have the issue where this might just pop up where you get the warning your camera has failed now there's a good chance in most of the cases that this can be fixed easily so before you take it in for repair I wanted to actually try this let's first show you the issue all right, so let's launch the camera and as you can see here the camera is up but however if i switch to the front camera as you can see there guys it says warning camera failed all right so this is the one in itself indicating that the camera has failed meaning there's something um, wrong with the camera and as you can see again if i launch the camera one more time you'll still get in the arrow warning camera has um, failed Alright, so that is the issue. Now I'm going to give you several options. In fact, I'm going to give you roughly around um, eight different tips you can actually use to fix your camera. So hopefully by the end of the video, your camera will be fully fixed and back up and working again. Alright, so let's get straight into the fix. Guys, let's begin with the fix. So the first thing I want to do guys is we're going to clear the cache for the camera. So you're going to go into um, settings on your device. It might be slightly different. This is the Galaxy S8 on which I will be demonstrating but it should be similar on your device so let's go into settings apps in some devices might be called um, application manager all right and once you go into application manager you're going to search for the camera now um, this is arranged alphabetically right so you're going to go to storage once you go into storage you're going to um, clear the cache for the camera and of course you're going to clear the data which is going to reset the camera all right so we're going to go back and of course we can go ahead and um, test the camera all right all right so there you go so right away guys as you can see the camera is back up next guys another thing that could interfere with the camera and cause the issue where you're seeing the camera fail warning is a feature that's called um, smart stay so smart stay is somewhere in the settings here the fastest way to find it guys is to actually use search and you can actually search um, smart stay and there you go we have um, smart stay so make sure that this is actually off currently mine is on just turn it off once you turn it off guys always remember to reboot your phone after any of these settings so go ahead and reboot and of course the feature that was actually holding up the camera should um, be fixed that doesn't work guys the next thing i wanted to try guys is we can actually see or check to see if something is actually messing around with the the camera and the way we do that guys is with a simple code so let's go to your dial in pad once you're on dial dialing pad guys you're gonna dial star number sign you know put in seven three five three number sign and of course this menu will come up now what this menu is is basically a quick test menu as you can see you can test a variety of features in your phone what you're going to do is you're accessing the the camera just to see if it's actually um working so in case an application is messing around with it so what you could actually do is hit the vt camera depending or the camera depending on yours and of course it should test it right if you are getting access here but if of course you're not getting access sorry if you're not getting access while you're trying to launch it from here then it might be something software related now you gotta think and think hard i had this with mine it was actually whatsapp i had used um the calling feature and what that means that the calling feature was still holding on to the permission for the camera so what i had to do guys was long press All right this is the shortcut way and i went to app info that was in app info i went to um permissions once i was in permissions what i did was to turn off access to the camera so by doing that what i actually did then of course i went back when i did that of course the camera was working again all right so that's one other thing that you could do um otherwise i'd advise that you search for the last app was on your phone and actually uninstall that app so if it's a particular app 
especially when it uses the camera you can actually go through and actually uninstall the app once you uninstall the app the camera should start working again all right um quick way around that too is to actually boot your phone into if you cannot do the test with the code that i showed you a while ago is to actually come in here and then when you're going to turn off you're going to long press power and of course you're going to boot into um safe mode so let me just show you this so we do safe mode All right, once you boot it up again, you'll notice we're in safe mode. Nothing actually works, no third party apps. As you can see, everything third party related is actually disabled. So all my widgets and so on, apps are grayed out. And of course, if you look down here, it says right down here, it says safe mode. And what you can actually do is test the um, camera in this mode. So if the camera works in this mode, it means that something on your phone, some application is actually messing around. So what you can do from in here is try to uninstall or from in normal mode. And of course, once you do that, once you do that, you should fix your um, phone. All right. Um, to exit is very easy. All you got to do is just come up here and actually um, exit and says, say restart. Now that should fix or get you back out of that mode. Another thing you can do guys is if you have another type of Android device, this is a generic Android device, could be a Samsung as well. In the cases where the, um, you are getting the camera fail warning while the phone is on or you could just turn it off, it doesn't really matter. You can actually go ahead and just pull the battery. By pulling the battery and actually leaving it out and also removing the SD card if you have one in. You're just going to remove your SD card from the slot and actually leave it out for a few seconds. Then, of course, you can always put back the SD card in. You could also um, reattach the battery. And once you reattach the battery, guys, and by simply doing that, you just reconnect all the um, parts on the phone. And of course, you can power up the phone. And of course, when you're powered back up again, the camera should start working. So the battery pull method tends to work. Now, for others who have like the Samsung Galaxy S8, which has a non-removable battery. As you can see, the battery cannot be um, removed due to it being sealed in. What you can actually do is a simpler method that involves um, you holding down um, power and volume um, down. Don't worry if the volume turns down, right? And of course, the phone is going to actually reboot. You can actually let go. So that's power, volume down. You're gonna hold both. And of course, the phone is going to go into a mode where it actually um, force restarts, right? And of course, if there's an SD card, you can actually remove the, um, the SD card. So that's the best thing to actually remove in the battery in comparison, seeing that this is a non-removable battery and you can't easily get into the device to actually disconnect the battery. So by doing that, it should actually help with this situation. If that still fails for you guys, another thing that you can actually try again, and you have to just bear this, there are several things to try. You can actually boot into recovery. And what we're going to do that is going to hold down power, volume up, and in the case of the S8, you're going to hold down the Bixby key. Other devices, if you're on other versions of Android, and you don't have the Bixby key, what you're going to use is power, volume up, and home um, on other devices, or the older devices with the physical home button, and so on. Right? So most combination involves power up, and either another button or just power and up so what we're going to do here guys is we're going to first power off the phone and this is always done from a power down state so you're just going to um, power off the phone in all cases don't worry this will not delete um, any data as we're just wiping some cache files from the phone which is just basically junk files all right so you're going to hold down power then you're going to hold big b button volume up and you're going to hold all of them at the same time as soon as you see anything on screen just let go there we go we're gonna let go all right it's gonna go through a mode so right now the phone is gonna boot into what we call a recovery mode just give it some time all right there you go now we're in recovery mode you can use volume up and down to actually navigate and power to select so as we say we're just gonna wipe the um cache partition so we're just gonna go down and of course as i said this is not gonna do anything to your phone remember we're just gonna wipe cache partition make sure it's on this one Make sure you're actually paying attention. Wipe cache partition. Do not select wipe data. The wipe cache partition. So you're going to select um, wipe cache partition. Select. It's going to confirm. Do you sure you're going to um, want to wipe cache? You're going to move down. You're going to select um, yes. And there you go. You're going to look down here and it says um, formatting cache, wiping cache, wipe cache complete. You look back up here at the top. You'll notice it says reboot system now. It's very fast. So therefore, what you're going to do is just go ahead and select um, reboot system um, no all right so that's it guys and that's all the things you can possibly do 
Now, just remember that it's either something directly on your phone that's messing with the camera or just a simple issue with the camera, um, the, the camera itself in most cases. It could also be that something is disconnected on the inside here and the phone just needs to be um, opened and actually make the reconnection. Um, sometimes too, if it gets a good nudge or you actually press around the area, it might cause that area to actually reconnect. So um, that's another uh, possibility. So if all of this actually fail and you have tried it multiple times, you can actually go ahead and try something else. You could actually try a reset, but I only advise that as a last resort. Or if it's a firmware problem, you could actually go ahead and flash an older or newer version of a firmware that might help to fix the issue too in some cases. And also if it's a software bug, you could actually wait for an update to actually get it to fix the, the, the bug in the software. Right? If all else fail, you can actually um, take it into a shop for repair or actually return the device if it's under warranty. So guys, these are all of the things that you can possibly do to fix the issue where your camera is giving a warning that it has failed. So if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe. It's from Block Tech Tips. Saying bye until next time. Bye.